Hello, I'm going to do a quick demonstration. This is a light pad. I've just switched it on. What you're getting is unpolarized light. So let me use one polarizer to polarize the light. So now what you're getting is lights that's polarized vertically. I'm going to add a second polarizer perpendicular to this one. So as you expected, uh, no light gets passed through. What I'm going to do next is to add a third polarizer in between these two polarizers. In between, huh? So let's see what happens. Can you see that? The light comes back on. So what's happening? If we have two crossed polarizers, then obviously the light that's polarized by the first polarizer is going to be perpendicular to the second polarizer and therefore is going to be completely blocked by the second polarizer and you get nothing after the two polarizers. If we insert a third polarizer in between the original two with a polarization angle that's misaligned with the original one by say an angle alpha then we actually get some light after the three polarizers. This is because the light that's polarized by the first polarizer will not be completely blocked by this polarizer. Uh, some amount of it will pass through with a new polarization angle that's the same as the, this polarizer's polarization angle. And this polarized light will also be not completely blocked by this polarizer. So some amount of it will pass through. It will not be completely blocked. Now what should the orientation of this polarizer be in order to pass the maximum amount of light through? So let's suppose the intensity of this light here is I0. Since this light is misaligned with the polarizer by an angle alpha, uh, Mailer's law tells us that the intensity of the light after this polarizer is going to be I0 cosine square alpha. Now, this polarized light is misaligned with this polarizer by an angle, let's call it beta. So again, um, according to Mailer's law, the intensity of the light after passing through this polarizer is going to be the original intensity I0 cosine square alpha multiplied by cosine square beta. Beta is of course uh, 90 degrees minus alpha because um, alpha will sit right here. So beta is in fact 90 degrees minus alpha. So the final intensity here I can write it as I0 cosine square alpha, cosine square, 90 degrees minus alpha. If you know your uh, trigo identity, you know that you can write this as I0 cosine square alpha. Um, cosine 90 minus alpha is actually sine alpha. So it's going to look like this. Now remember another trigo identity, sine 2 alpha is actually um, 2 sine alpha, cosine alpha, right? So I can write this as I0 over 4 sine square 2 alpha. This means that the maximum intensity we can get is actually I0 over 4 and this happens when sine square 2 alpha is 1 because that's the maximum value of uh, sine square 2 alpha and that happens when alpha is 45 degrees. So yes, if this polarizer is oriented at 45 degrees, we get the maximum uh, amount of light passing through these three polarizers. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!